Welcome, sir. Thank you. The company manager is dead inside waiting for you. Okay. That reminds me, sir. With all due respect, sir. Sir, I'd like to recommend that that no. you get married. I mean, it's very risky for a young girl. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, sir, do I set the dining for lunch? No, I'm okay. Unless Mr. Peter here wants to eat. Oh no, I'm I'm okay, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So I was just saying that, um, I mean, it's very risky for a young and wealthy man like you to be unmarried. You need a nice woman in your life to help stabilize you and also be at the helm of affairs in the office since you really don't want to be active in your office as the MD. Well, I appreciate your sincere concern, but I'm working on it. I am taking my time. In as much as I need a wife, I equally need a good woman. A good woman will make you, and a bad one will marry you. I equally agree with you, sir. Please do take your time. One more thing, sir. Mr. Mark has been pressurizing me in the office to consider his uh, fiancée as the personnel manager in the office. I mean, to occupy the position, and I don't really know how to go about it. Ooh. Hey. My girl, my girl. What are you hey, so excited? Girl. What's the good news? Hmm. Your girlfriend now has a job. Say what? interviews neither did you talk about job preparations uh, um you know that is what happens when you date a real man I repeat real man all protocols will be broken well this is all thanks to my baby mark mm -hmm. he made it possible with his connection it was more as if they were even begging me to work for them <laughs> you see girlfriend that's good news. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my phone. My baby. Hey, baby. Oh, baby, look, I can't thank you enough for the job. Thank you so much. And you know what? I'll be coming over to your place so we can celebrate my new job. <laughs> yes. All right, honey, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, Tracy. Look, I have to get to my boyfriend's house, okay? So, I might have to leave you for now. We have some celebration to do. Okay. Date rich men and not broke. Men. <laughs> I'm so happy for her regardless. Oh, please. <laughs> I hate that girl. You don't know how much I, 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 she disgusts me. She probably do that nonsense with you anyways. God. Stella. Oh. Hello.
Stella. So you actually came to this house to hide? And not to look for job interview like you said? Job interview? Who job help? You work 11 hours a day, 28 days every month, and at the end of the day, one idiot that calls himself a boss will pay you 50k. Money I can actually make in just one night, with just one, one correct, oh god, <laughs> babes, this your girl, I don't come this life to suffer, oh, I not, <laughs> yeah, so this is the life you're choosing, one night off, that's the life you chose, yes, so. Stella, I have given you a good boyfriend. Toby is a good man. He's handsome. Toby is someone that I would have dated. I wasn't dating Dave. Stella, please, I don't want you to break Toby's heart. You need to stop all these things you're doing. Calm down. Focus on one man now, Stella. See, you're my cousin. I cannot deceive you. Stop now. Toby. Hope say get money. I hope he has money. Because this babe you are seeing here, I'm allergic to broke guys. I am so allergic to them. Babe. <laughs> money rules though. Okay, <laughs> fight now. So they would date a man that has money. Latest personal manager. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. I am so proud of you, baby. And this is all thanks to you, my love. I told you. I mean, you. you made it possible. I told you. Mm. Uh, Toby, can you believe that? My girl is the latest personnel manager in my company. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's Let great. Oh, yeah, this calls for celebration. We're about heading out. So you should join us, please. Oh, no. Don't worry about me. Just go ahead. I'm very busy here. Bro! Uh-uh, uh-uh, honey. What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Look, don't you know failure do not associate with progressive people? Hmm? Honey, please just ignore him and go celebrate. All right? Let's go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, bro. I'll probably get you something. Honey, let's go. Back. Okay, baby. Mm, I am so happy. So am I. I now have a job. We are going to pay the hotel rent. Oh. So, sir, I really want to appreciate you for all your efforts in securing this job for my fiance. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. The thanks should actually go to the MD. You know, he, he has the final say. He made it possible. Mine is just to tell him the vacant offices in the company and conduct interview according to his directives. You know, talk about the final say, that lies with him. God bless the MD. God yeah. bless him abundantly. It meant Amen. so much to me, sir. Thank God has already blessed him. Um, Miss Mercy, I must tell you that um, this company is known for proficiency in all ramifications. And I'm sure you will queue into the level with which the company operates. I will do my best, sir. It's all right. Um, Mark, I'll be off for now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's all right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I need to get married before I travel back to Malaysia so that she can manage my company. Mercy has been taken away from me. Tracy's in a relationship. Stella can't be trusted for now. She might liquidate my company. I have to try, but I won't put my eggs in one basket. I have to push further. You need to come. I really need it. 
Toby, honestly, I think you should focus on your overdrive. Because the only job you can get in my company without a certificate is a driving job. And the salary is not even more than 50,000 naira. Hey, it's okay now. 50k is okay. I can manage it. Bro, this is my car, eh? it, it keeps embarrassing me on the road. At least this 50k, I can save it and fix this one. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Uh, but you know it's not in my place to get you a job. Actually, Messi is in the best position to get you a job. But seeing that the two of you don't align well, I doubt you should want to help. Bro, what are you saying now? And Messi is your woman. Get into her head. Convince her to do this for you now. Yeah? Please. It's alright. I'll see what I can do. I'm off to work. Take care of yourself, huh? Come on, go hang out. Stella, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why don't you want to change? Why you no want change, girl? Uh -oh. Stop that nonsense, I beg. Uh -uh. You don't too much, I beg. Waiting. Because you they have me for this house, now you say you go to talk to me anyhow. I said I'll be small picking. I'm not be small picking, I'll be big girl. Be big girl, they talk to me anyhow. Just they talk, 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 talk. Stella, Stella, Stella. I'll be picking. I beg you. I'm a big girl. I don't see you now, big girl. Um. Meanwhile, Toby came to look for you yesterday, but you were not around. He even said he called you several times and you did not pick up. Stella, why are you doing like this now? Did you even think of how what you've done to him will be making him feel? for your dramas, please. Hey, hey, hey. Just look, look at you. See how, look at how, how you're dressed. Almost half naked. And you are seated comfortably in my boyfriend's house. Or did your boyfriend tell you that he's squatting here? What? Squatting? Oh, you didn't know. Oh, you didn't know. Wait, let me tell you. Your boyfriend is squatting here. Your boyfriend is a nobody. He's an ordinary, visionless Uber driver. Yes. And I would have you parade yourself in my boyfriend's house. Because I know you're kind. Yes. Before you switch over to my boyfriend, I won't have it. Tosin is a squatter. And he has no right to have any visitor. I need their cheap chalets around. Chalets he can afford. He can send you there. Hmm? 
Look, Stella, I am only keeping my cool because you are Tracy's cousin. So better respect yourself. Get up, pack your things, and leave. Now! to date me. Me. Let him go and get an apartment. Okay? I'm done with this shit. Stella, Toby has not done anything wrong. Mm. And Toby is innocent. Look, I told her what she ought to know. So that she doesn't flaunt herself all over this house thinking that this is Toby's house. But you should have let her be. It's actually her first time of visiting. And now Toby is not happy that you sent her out. Then he should get his own apartment. He should get his own house. And give us some space. Ha! Huh. Look, his presence strokes me. His presence is beginning to, to, to get me annoyed. Please, my love. Toby is simply a wonderful guy. It was through him that I got this job when he was in abroad. The former manager was his man, and he spoke to him, and the guy gave me the job at ease. So you see, one good turn deserves another. Please, baby. I want you to use your good office as the personnel manager to get him that driving job. <laughs> it won't work. It can't work. It won't work. You can't blackmail me with that. No. For me. Have you not paid enough? You and I know how expensive accommodation is. And you've been housing Toby for free for some months now. Is that not enough payment? Look, I can't have him work at that office. I can't. I can manage him in the house, but not at the office. So you had better advise him to stick to his taxi driving business. After all, office work is not for everybody. Look, I am done talking about it. Now, Messi, baby. Baby, listen to me. Baby, you can do this for him. He was there for me when I needed his help. Sweetheart, please. Tracy, there is really no point stressing this issue. I am simply not comfortable with your cousin coming to my boyfriend's house. That girl is a muse. And my boyfriend is not safe around her. Look. I wouldn't have insecurity issues if you were the one dating Toby and maybe you're coming over to see him. I won't have a problem, but not Stella. Look, you better advise your cousin to stay away from my boyfriend's house. Or she tells her poor boyfriend to go and rent his own apartment and leave my boyfriend's house. I mean, they are joking us. I'm tired of them all. I am tired of them. I've said my own no. Mercy. So this is all about insecurity, right? Mercy, have you for once thought how your actions make Toby feel? Girl, these guys have been living together even before you came into the picture. Hmm. So why you can't carry the whole boyfriend house matter for head? Why would I carry it for my head? Look, Tracy, it's a different thing if you're the one dating Toby and coming around to see him. But I can't stand your cousin. 
That girl that has this Ross girl mentality, I can't stand her coming to my boyfriend's house. She might snatch him. I heard you clearly. I hear you. <laughs> Who wants to go to that your boyfriend's house? I don't date broke guys. You know me now. But see where they squat. For waiting now. I've already told him to go and rent apartment too, or kiss my fat ass goodbye. Don't get time for all this nonsense. So. Nonsense. Okay. See, let me tell you. I better not see this your fat ass in my boyfriend's house because you won't like what I'll do to you. Shall we? See, better talk to your cousin. Better talk to her. Sacrifice have I not made to make our relationship last long? <sighs> See the way you are looking. Hey, you don't know my shop again. What are you doing inside that car? I am facing the electric car job. That car is doing break and quench, break and quench, quench, chum, chum, quench, chum. So I'm trying to work it. But you're a mechanic. So you don't know for someone to survive in this business, the person must be up and doing versatile. You do this, you do that. I, I won't work better. I work all this, these things. But why are you even monitoring me? Are you not my mother? You want to know my inner out? No. I'm not monitoring you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stop shouting. The way you are doing, I see if you, I don't know what I'm doing again. I brought food for you. That's why I came. No, I keep it on top of that place. When I'm done with the electrical work, I'll eat it. No! I brought it so we eat together. I've not eaten since morning. I'm doing fasting and prayers. Yeah? So what will happen now is, since you want the both of us to eat it, eh? eat your own part. When I'm done with what I'm doing, and when my fasting for today must have, you know, come to an end, then I'll eat my own. No, no. I want the food to be enough for you. I'll drop this one for you. I remain small for myself in the pot. Hmm. It's alright. No worries. Is it? No problem. You, you, you will start going now, eh? I will call you. I will give you a call. Kiss me now. I miss you. You see that you don't understand the things of the spirit. There is something I'm asking from God. And it is remaining small for God to do it. This is your kiss now will chase away the Holy Ghost. This fasting is almost done. Oh. Just small kiss. I hey, miss you. Good. Okay, just hold on. Let me just round up with this fasting and prayers. Hey, but you remember the things of the spirit. It may more kind of remember. You see? So you have to understand it. Come and start going. I'll give you a call. Okay. Call me. I'll call you. Any number you show see on your phone now after you Come and hug me small. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Like, just go. I'll don't go inside you. that car again. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to walk, let the girl come down so you'll be alone. I'll I, I don't want both of you to sit together. No problem. I'll concentrate on that the vehicle now. It's electric car walk. Let me walk from under. Okay. <laughs> you can achieve it. Right. It's alright. Bye bye. Yeah. So you call me. Yo. Yeah, I will. She was all over me. She was watching me. She wants to eat me. She wants to eat. She wants to. I don't know. She even, she, she even came with food. She said I must eat. I must eat now that I'm hungry. That I'm stressing myself too much. <laughs> Do you care for the food? It's actually it's very nice. My sister can cook very well. Thank you. Hey. You're not hungry. Child, you have not. My sister can cook. That girl is. <laughs> okay. This. okay. <sighs> I even gave Toby to Stella. <laughs> oh, I ask all the mothers to be happy. <laughs> Ah. Uh. 
Guy! You know, go work today. I'm tired of this country. Nothing is working and everything is messed up. The only girl I managed to love, you've taken her away from me. Ah, uh, guy. Why are you talking like this, huh? No reason I'm not. Look, I did you a huge favor and you should even appreciate me for that. Tell you the truth, eh? That girl is way above your level. Now tell me, is it this 1,000, 2,000 you make from your taxi that you want to use and take care of her? Huh? It's not gonna work. And you should also consider going for girls that are in your class in this year. Ultimate search for a wife. Maybe I'll just go back to Malaysia and settle down with the Malaysian woman. <laughs> Don't be <laughs> Malaysian. <laughs> you are very funny. With which money? Which money? And tell me what are you going to do there? Nothing is working for me here. Maybe my luck will shine over there. But you came back empty-handed from there, which means nothing was working there for you. Look, bro, I advise you to manage this your Uber job and use the little money you get there for your daily bread. Things will surely turn out for you. Oh my gosh. I'm an hour late to a board meeting I'm supposed to attend. Guy, I have to run. I'll see you later. Oh. This life is not balanced at all. Hello? Do your job. I've just been given a one week suspension. I don't even know my feet afterwards. How could you come to work late? How could you come to work late knowing that you have board meetings to attend? How? This is just the height of incompetence. Look, you have to go and beg him. You have to go and beg him more. Of course, you know I hate jobless and broke people around me. And of course, you know to what that I can't date a broke guy. Hope you know that. So you had better go and beg him to pardon you. I have begged him. I have pleaded with him the best way I know how to. He's insistent on me. Mm. It's okay, you can go. You can go home. I will, I will try and talk to him. Come here. I'll be fine, okay? Thank you. Take care of Manager, manager. Well done, sir. Manager, is there anything you would like me to do for you? You want coffee? or anything at all? Or would you rather prefer we have a drink after work today? That won't be bad. Miss Mercy, you see, I know where you're driving at, but I have loads of work on my desk, if you must know. I know. And the truth is, Mark must go on one week suspension so that he can sit up, okay? And that will also serve as warning to everyone. This company did not attend this greatness with incompetence. Okay? Now, as for Max stay in this company, he's at the mercy of MD. Ah, manager. Manager, you don't have to tell the MD. You're a manager, so you have the power to make certain rules, certain decisions without the MD. Then I'm not a good manager. 
this company is not mine. I am just here to manage it and report back to the owner of all happenings here. Now, if you don't mind, I was very busy before you came in. Sorry, sir. Embarrassment is becoming too much. If you, you should have seen how women embarrass me today all in the name of being poor. Talk to Mercy and let her do this thing for me now. And why are you home at this time of the day? Toby, I'm on a one week suspension from my company. What? And I don't know my fate afterwards. I wish I knew my MD or have his number. I would have called and pleaded with him. I don't want to go back to the labor market. And you know how hard for a good job to come by these days. You're not going to lose your job. Eh? See, you're my friend. Let me pray for you. Yes, now. Let us pray. Close your eyes. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. Father, we come to you as your children. It is written in the Bible that ask and it shall be given unto you. Yes. Seek and you shall find. Yes. And knock and it will be opened. Father, we seek you. We seek you and ask that you touch the managers and even the empty's hearts so that they can reinstate Mark's job in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Toby, thank you so much. That's fine. Thank you. Toby, you surprised me. Why? I must say, I am completely flabberwhelmed and overgasted. You don't turn past up. I beg, stop hey. that. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. It's fine, it's okay. I say amen to all your prayers. Amen. Had it been your friend, Shegu was still the manager, you would have just called him and even saved us the stress of this prayer. Don't worry. God will do it. Amen. That reminds me, why was he sacked? Man, that guy mismanaged the funds of the company. The auditor found out and told the MD. So they dismissed him. Shego, my man. That guy will never change. Uh, half an hour. Two days. Uh, I should probably do something. Oh, you know you can make a living with this. It's gone. Like Chris. Yes, yes. Today I've missed you too. I'll keep talking to her, okay? I feel so unlucky not to have you to be. <laughs> no. It's not in my culture to cheat when I'm in a relationship, so... It's fine. We're friends, right? You can come see me anytime. But make sure you bring goodies for me, though. <laughs> All right. Take care of you. Yeah, bye. So, man, where you give me? You won't take her. Man, where you give me? You say, make I take. You won't take her. Take her now. I don't, I don't do it again, no. Stella. Mm. So, like, no, it's not possible for me to have Toby now. Mm. Yes. I'm in a relationship. I have a yeah, boyfriend, sequa. girl. Yeah, Toby and I were just friends. Yes. Mm. Sure? We're just friends. <laughs> but what you did? What you did? Joe with broke ass people. Excuse you? Why do you like broke boys, broke men, broke guys? Eh? As, see, it, as you did like this. See your body. See your shape, babes. You're my cousin, no? Uh, at this juncture, I think I need to go inside. See, okay. see, see, just look at. Stay here, continue talking about. Look, look at. Uh, about, about rich men. Me? Hey. I don't understand. Look, guys. Go for me. Look. Penny, I 
tried talking to the manager, but to no avail. That man is too strict, though. I just pray they call you back. The pursuit. <sighs> so how was your day? Mm. I had to take as usual. But honey, you see what I keep telling you? I tell you that failure attracts failure. You need to send Toby out of this household. Because his bad luck has started affecting you. Better send him out of this house before he gets out of hand. Mom, Nancy, come up with it. Toby has no hand in my predicament. He's a great guy just that he's broke. He even showed great concern when I told him about my suspension and sincerely prayed for me. Ah, forget that thing. Look, he's only pretending. He's a pretender. And he cannot make me like him with all those his pretentious acts. Never. Please, um, have you had something to eat? No. See it? You see what I'm saying? He can't even cook for you. Knowing your condition right now, knowing that you're not stable, he can't even cook. But baby, I did not tell him. Well, you didn't have to. <laughs> Thank God he didn't even cook. With that, his poverty witchcraft. Yes, before he yes. used it to, 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 to feed you. Don't worry. Hmm? I will prepare something special for you, okay? So let me go up and change and come and give you something nice. Okay, baby. My boo. You come in. Thank you. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate. Thank you. Of course. Yes! Mercy, baby! Sweet! <laughs> I think. <laughs> Dave! Dave! What's going on? What's the meaning of this? What exactly are you seeing? Dave, why is she being disrespectful? I thought you said she's your sister. Of course she's my sister. Yes, you're my sister. But in the Lord, you're a Christian like me. We are the same Christian, we are the same denomination. What are we? Dave! Yes, are you not my sister? Dave, I brought you! Oh God. Then how could you? What possibly could that girl find? See, Vera, I'm very, very sorry. You see, all this small, small temptation, little, little temptation sometimes. I don't understand why God will allow us. Dave. Yeah, don't worry. In fact, as I'm, as I'm talking, as, let, I swear to God, she's the one following me about. We worship the same church, the same ministry. And that's why she has been throwing herself all over me. Dave, yeah. I don't ever want to see you with that girl. You're not going to see us again. I don't, I don't like it. Promise. It's a promise. Talk to me. Talk to me now. What's the problem? She's serious. Dave? I went to Dave's shop. To go give him food as usual. I go there and I saw Dave with another girl. Another girl? A girl he told me was his client. Oh. 
And that was not enough. James looked me in the eyes and said, I'm an assistant of the Lord. Oh. Hey, Tracy. Sister in the Lord? Hey, Tracy, God. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Should I be telling you about this broke guy? I keep telling you, good guys, the only thing good about them is sense. They have sense, they're always thinking, they're always thinking, it's like gambling. No, they see them, it's like gambling, babes. I love him. I love him. I love him. You love who? Stop saying he broke guys, they are dangerous. Look at them, just look at what is happening to you now. I, I, I can't understand this now. I cannot understand it now. Someone like Dave, they will don't you the moment they see someone that pays higher. They'll be loyal to you only when you are giving them food, washing that, that useless dirty boxers. Please. Huh? Stop crying. I'm so broke guy. I'm so sad. You can't take this. You can't take this. Hey, cry cry broke guy. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so cute. Don't give up on love. But oh, no. you still have Toby now. Yeah? I know you guys love each other. No, I don't. I'm sure Toby must have moved on with someone else. You will never know unless you call him. Call him now. Please leave that day. You are annoying me. Stop crying for that broke guy now. Don't be crying for a broke guy. Try your tears. Try your tears now. Thank you. Oh, not at all. I'm okay. Thank you. It's alright, sir. You're such a nice person, sir. And um, you hate to see people in distress. God will continue to bless you, sir. Amen. Also, um, I want you to put a notice to employ a driver in the company. It's alright, sir. I'll do that, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll beg to take my leave, sir. Drive safely. Thank you, sir. Oh, that was um, Mr. Peter. He works in the company. Oh, okay, okay. So much of looking nice. Mm, thank you, you sir. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Saint, yeah. you needed to have seen the insults and humiliations I get from women on a daily basis. <laughs> this internet age has ruined our women. No woman wants to build. They all want to ready made. And their demand on men is so high that they don't have anything to offer in return. Toby, you, 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 you just have to take this slowly. You will hurt yourself. You will really hurt yourself. I want a homely woman as a wife. Is that too much to ask? Yes. Brother, it's too much to ask. In this present generation of our time, you are looking for, what did you call it again? 
a homely woman. Yes. No, 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 no. It's impossible. What we have now, Toby, let me tell you, we have Instagram and TikTok wives. And these girls are not ready to sit back and watch you do what you're doing. Not at all. Listen, what you're looking for, that was there in the 1970s. And that was when it stopped. Since that time till now, nothing of such. Listen, if you want to get married, let me advise you as a friend. You know you're my padding buddy now. <laughs> Go for. Possibly look at somebody you have 45% love for. Yes. Build the person. Move the person to what you want. And that's NC there. This is your ideology. You got to just put it back behind you. I'm going to find that woman. And when I find that woman, you'll be shocked. No, 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 you can't get that. That is not too much to that. You can't get that. You can't get that kind of woman now. I must tell you. Like I told you, look at the woman. Have 45% love for the person. Saints, do not tell me to calm down. I am going back. I will go back and I'll continue trying till I find that woman. I'm not going to rush to marry a prostitute or even a gold digger to lavish my money. This is my sweat and blood telling me to calm down. I understand all these things. I do understand that. And listen, you must understand that I've supported in all these things. Yes, I have. And no married woman now is ready to do all these things for you, possibly. You must understand that any married woman who sees a richer guy will possibly dump the husband just for that guy. This is the reason I need to stick to the original plan. I am going back to being poor to find that woman that will love me for me. Right now, she's Just because you can say this. No, 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 no. You have to. You have to. You're my friend for crying out loud. Just listen and your word. Hi. I keep telling you that that your friend is an ingrate. Just look at it. He left this house without informing the person that housed him. <laughs> that is how you will make money one day, but God forbid. That's how you will make money one day and he won't even tell anybody. I keep telling you that every help you give to this man, to this guy, is totally useless. Come on, Sreeni. Just let the boy be. Let the young man be. You know he's going through a terrible time. Well, it's even better for me. It's better he just remains there and not even come back to this house. Because I don't want to see him. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is that? That feels so good. Anyways. Do you like how sexy I'm looking? Of course, baby. I love the way you are looking. You look perfect. <laughs> I love seeing you in all your glories. Mm. You no, know, it turns me up. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you know I love to look sexy. You know I love to walk around the house naked. But having your friend around is not making me free. I mean, it's it's tying me down. Every adult, except dumb ones, knows that Kotze demands you knock and wait for permission before entering the house, dummy. And every responsible woman knows that two guys live in this house and that same courtesy requires that she doesn't walk half naked in the sitting room. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not calling to tell you that I was sleeping out. How far are you? Honey, wait. Are you just going to play cool and let that fool insult me? Come on, baby. I have told you it's not necessary. What do you mean it's not necessary? The young man is going through a terrible time. Well, let that terrible time suffocate him there. I mean, what is this? This 
listen, baby, you are being too dramatic about this. Just let it be. Oh, really? Bet me. Bet me! I will frustrate him out of this house. He will leave this house. I have not even started beating Mercy, yet. Mercy, that is not necessary. You can take me on that. Mercy, get back here. Baby! Everything is okay between the two of you. You won't be here. Please. Tell me. What is going on? Huh? It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's fine. Look, everything will be okay. Alright? of you now kissing the air. Hey! hey. Luko, you better go back to that your brave boyfriend and save yourself all this trauma. What is this? Communication. So okay. what can we do for you? Thank you, Ma. I came to submit my application for the driving job. Um, okay, let me have it. Thank you. So that's all right. The company will get back to you via email. Thank you, Ma. I'll be waiting. 
letters submitted to this company. A man just left here now. He came with his application letter. Your job is to collect all application letters. Let this not repeat itself again. Okay, ma. I'm sorry about this. It's fine. Okay. This letter is from Ibrahim Musa and Toby Johnson. Did you just say Toby Johnson? Yes, ma'am. Let me have it. But um, Toby is demanding to see Mr. Mark. Tell him that he's not around. I thought you said Mark was not in the office. What joy did you derive from seeing me suffering? Wouldn't you be happy if you see me working in the office and being successful like both of you? I won't be happy. I will never be happy. I will only be happy when I see you suffer and toil without your rickety Uber car on the ring and sun with no passengers. Then I'll be happy. I hate you, Toby. I hate you from the very first day you made me miss a well-paying job interview. And the interview I suffered so much, I sacrificed so much to get. I did not know you left your credentials in my car. If I knew you left it, I would have brought it to you without asking you to pay me. Look, I am truly sorry. I just want us to live peacefully. That's all. Mm. I had a better life overseas until I had a problem. This, this is not me, okay? That problem will kill you. Mercy. Mercy! Bro, what's up in there? What's the news about? I was at your workplace today with you talking about this. But then Mercy told me you're not in the office and rained in me. She did all that. Yes. This has got to stop. And it has got to stop now! No, 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 no! Mark, please, listen. I don't want you to be angry at her because of me. It's only going to make things worse. Please. Bro, 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 I think I'll beg you. Just let it go. Please. Good. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let me just fix up something in the kitchen. Okay. Just 
Beatrice's bag and slippers. So that mad girl is here again. After all the warnings I gave her. I won't allow it in this house. I will never allow it. I won't allow it. of the awkward attitude you exhibited earlier. <laughs> Tell your man to go rent an apartment if he wants to start inviting women into this house. Look, I am only calm because it's you. If we were to be another woman, I would have poured hot water on her. Uh -uh. See, Tracy, you know you're my friend. You beautiful woman. Sexy, gorgeous. Why not get a befitting man? A man that deserves you, not that low-life thing, that pauper. Tracy, you can do better. You can do better than that, 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 that pauper. 
befitting man? Yes. Missy, why do you act as if all is well with you? You are my friend. We share the same apartment. I know you very well. I have lent you money, your family, your brother. Your elder brother is equally broke and... And someone got married to him. So, so what's wrong? If poverty kills, I think your elder brother should have died first. Mm, 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 mm. Just, just, just stop it. Stop it, Tracy. Look, I won't have you insult me in my fiance's house. I won't have it. I won't insult you. But don't think you will talk me into leaving Toby or leaving this house like you did with Stella. I will not. Fine. Fine. Suit yourself. If you want to die poor, then fine, Tracy. But let me warn you. Whenever you visit this house, know your boundaries. Okay? Look, I have been friends with you for many years. And I wouldn't want to fall out with you. down on how you treat Toby. I have told you before that that guy is my friend. He once got my back when I had no job. And even till this day, he has remained very nice to me. I come to even think of it. He is not hindering us in any way. We have two separate rooms in this house. We have our privacy, he has his privacy. Please just allow him to concentrate on us. Mm. It's not a big deal. So you have taken his side. So you are now on Toby's side, right? Come on. No, you've taken his side. No problem. No problem. Don't talk like that. No, it's fine. Because no problem. You know what I mean. It's fine. No problem. Chevy, you've taken his side. No problem. Just leave me alone. Go and call to Toby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The secretary said uh, it's one person that uh, submitted, and uh, I already have the application on my interview, sir. Should I continue with the interview, sir? It's all right, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Tell me about the issues. You know me too well. You know I'm not lazy when it has to do with chores. I got busy upstairs. I was going to do it. Sorry. Well, Tracy, this is not our house. This is my fiance's house. And I do not want to see that in my boyfriend's house. Okay? So you need to clean this up. Mercy. I know this is your boyfriend's house. I'm not disputing that fact. And I equally know that my boyfriend is squatting with your boyfriend. But girl, you don't have to rub it down my face all the time. It's not necessary. Tracy, I do not want to come back here and still meet this place like this. So clean it up. This should be the last time you'll collect any letter from that infidel. Toby Johnson or, or, or whatever he calls himself. This should be the last time you accept any letter from him. Ma, it's not that he said the former one he submitted was cancelled. So... And so what? Sorry, 
Come on, get out of this place. told you about anything that I did for, for her to hate me like that? No, no. She hasn't. I mean, there's no logical explanation to that. And you know what baffles me? Each time I bring up this conversation with her, it pisses her off and we end up having an issue about it. But don't worry. I think you should just ignore her. She'll get over it eventually. You know women. The best thing for me to do is, you know, stop trying to send my application to your company. No, 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 because no. Because, listen, the way she sounds, I don't think I'll get a job. Come on, come on, bro. You can do that. You have to keep pushing. And you'll get the job eventually. Hustle must continue. Alright. You need so much good. to me to help you get a job. Why? Of course I know you don't know the manager. But because of the cause that is following you, followed you to my office to come and spoil things for me. But I will prove you wrong. I will prove you wrong. I will prove to you that I am a woman and I will use everything that makes me a woman get back my job. In case you don't know, I have a very strong connection in that office. The manager is Mike's very good friend. And through the manager, I will get to the empty. So you have failed. You have failed woefully. Hey, you better go and get your own Go and get your own house. Okay? And live with your bad dog. Rubbish. I don't even know what you're doing in this house. You don't do anything. You don't clean. You don't. You don't cook. Nothing. Better leave this house, so leave. Leave with your bad luck. You will see me. Hey, useless man. Emily, sir. Yes, I have already given her suspension letter, sir. Yes, sir. It's okay, sir. Baby, you didn't have to go out there to search for a job for me. Look at the danger it exposed you to. What if he raped you? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> he used to be a very good friend of mine. And he thought he would genuinely help me, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not mad at you, okay? But I, I don't want you to endanger yourself all in the name of searching for a job for me. I'll get a job, okay? Don't worry. I know you care about me. I will get a job, I will make money, and I'll take good care of you, okay? I'm sorry. It's okay, stop crying. <laughs> you know I don't like it when you cry. Okay, okay. Now listen. Okay. How about I give you that special massage that you love so much? Just to cheer you up. <laughs> See? That smile was almost coming out. <laughs> Yay! Mm. It's okay, baby. Okay? Mm? Love you. I love you too. I love you too. Mm. 
Have you stopped crying? Have you, are you sure? Else, no massage for you. Should I get the oil? I am still very confused here. Mr. Peter made mention of the person being sent by the party. And the only person that has not been submitting his application letter to the manager is Toby. And Toby can possibly be sent by the empty. This thing is getting, it's getting me more confused. It's really wrong. Shouldn't have attacked Toby, but really. you can't blame very easily. He hasn't seen anything. I have not even started with him yet. Look, at first I didn't want anyone to know about my son's nature. But I just deliberately had to face him. See, everything about Toby is evil. It's evil, babe. For now, baby. Just let it just so confused. No, you're the most beautiful thing on earth. Mm? Mm. I don't want you looking for trouble today. Okay? And make sure you eat. Mm -hmm. I'll call you as usual. Alright. Be a good girl. We will miss you. Okay, walk me to the car, baby. Uh, no, 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 I can't. Why not? Because Tracy is in this house. And I don't want her to know that I'm out of work. Well, Toby already knows you're out of work, which means Tracy knows too. Well, I do not want to face them. You're going to mock me. I don't want to have any contact with any of them. Come on, baby. Nobody's going to mock you. Mm. Look, you are the madam of this house. You're the one in charge. Mm. You don't have to be scared of anybody. Well, if you're sure I am the madam of this house, then send them away. Send them away so I can be free. I can be free even if I want to walk around naked. I can do anything I want to do. Honey, those people have bad luck hovering around them. And it's beginning to affect us. Mercy. That guy is going through a terrible time. If you add this to it, do you think he will survive it? Then let him die. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm late for work. Take care. She won't allow me to have space in my own house. And here she is too. She won't even allow me to have peace in my own boyfriend's house. What kind of what kind of problem is this? What? Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm... Hi, there is no privacy in me. I am home. Hey gorgeous. How are you, baby? Oh my god. Baby. The temperature is high. And you look pale and weak. Have you had something to eat? My goodness. Missy, why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you starving yourself? Look, I left this house with Toby. 
Why are you serving yourself? I saw Tracy in the kitchen. And so what if you saw Tracy in the kitchen? And what is it with you not wanting anyone to know that you got suspended from work? Now tell me, will you be the first or will you be the last person that ever gets a suspension from work? I too was suspended last week and then later got reinstated. I don't like this. Look at what you're doing to yourself. I hate to see you like this. Look, I have to quickly go and get you something to eat. You're not going to die in my house. Huh? Huh? Babe, I don't like this. What should I get you? Anything. Anything? Anything. I don't know what to get you. Okay, just hang in there. I'm coming. I'll be right back. A friend of mine told me your company has put on a notice of employment for head of operations and that person must be a graduate. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. So, are you a graduate? No, I am not, but I am applying for Tracy. Very funny. Bro, you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that you are applying for a job for Tracy in my company? Yes. To be the head of operation in T&J Telecommunications Limited. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, let me tell you something. Do you know how long I've worked in that company? Even while you were in abroad? <laughs> I have never dreamt of applying for this post. This is the second to the manager. I know it's good to have good taste, but this one, <laughs> this is way too much. Yeah, Mark, I understand, but there's no harm in trying now. Mm. Just help me submit it. Okay. <laughs> Let me have it later. Thank you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> this is Please just give me the letter. Let me see it. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. You don't have to do that. Why? I will submit it. <laughs> so you want to waste your energy submitting this letter? Honey, when you get to the office, make sure you trash it. Because I, I, what's the, what's the point? Anyways, I know the letter won't even see the light of the day. Yeah, you see how it goes. So I learned there is an employment advert for the head of operation in our company. Oh yes, there is. There is a... Well, someone gave me an application to submit in that respect. It's okay. Drop it on the table. Here you go, sir. You see, haven't given me any feedback concerning reinstating my fiancé. How far now? Have you spoken to the MD about it? Well... Uh... I have no reason not to do that for you, Mark. You know you're my very close friend, and in this office we have a very good working relationship. I've been talking to them there about it. But each time I bring up a matter, it's as if he gets him angry. Are you serious? It baffles me too, because I'm sure the MD doesn't know her. Of course he doesn't know her. He doesn't even know me, his old staff. Talk more of Messi who just started working. But, sir, you just have to help me because this whole thing is breaking her up. It's tearing her apart. Even if it means going to see the MD with you and plead with him, just anything. <clears throat> that won't be necessary. It will worsen the situation. Um, you see, I, I will keep pushing. Um, but I must also inform you that um, the MD instructed that I put up a notice for a new staff to take up that office, oh. that position. Are you serious? 
Uh, sir, 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 please, you, you have to do something. You, you, you can't let this happen. Look, Mercy is competent. She's qualified. You can't get a, a better person than Mercy is very productive. Come Perfectly on, Mark. I'll, I'll do what I can do. I'll leave what I cannot do, but I promise I'll do what you can see. Okay? I'm really close. It's okay. okay. I will keep pushing. I'll talk to you. Manager, you didn't even bother to check on your girl. Hmm? Is it that you're not missing me? <laughs> right? Hmm. Hey, Amen. No, I miss everyone too. But manager, hmm. you know, try you. You no try at all. Your girl has not been at the office for a week now. And you did not even bother to call or even check up on me. Is it that you don't enjoy my vibes? I mean the vibes I give in the office. You know now. I can't wait to come back too. I can't wait. I mean I'm, I'm already tired of staying at home. And staying at home doing nothing. I'm tired. But manager, what is the empty saying about me now? He? Eh? What is he saying? Can't you help me? At least beg him now. Beg him on my behalf. Mm. Okay. See, eh, manager. If the MD is being stubborn, link me up to the MD. Just link me up to him. Just one smile I will give him like this. Just one. He will melt. He will melt. He will even change his mind. Eh? And I even heard that he's a young man. I mean a young man. There is no way he won't fall for my smile. Just link me up to him and leave the rest. Anyways, that aside, I'm really missing you all. What are we going to see now? I mean, to hang out, chill, have some drinks. Ah, oh, my nature. Come on. You know that I like you. Yes, I like you. <laughs> Just do this thing for me. Eh? Just do it. You know you're not my partner. You're not my party. Okay. I have an offer for you. No, no. You can't get sacked. I keep telling you, link me up to the empty. Once you do that, leave the rest for me. I will handle it. See, eh, this one you're being scared. The empty might even end up giving me the HOD operations. Oh. Yes! <laughs> See, just link me up to the empty. Just link me up. That's all. That's all I want. Right, so if you say so, um, manager, I'll be waiting for your feedback, and I, uh, I'm waiting to get something positive from you. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs> oh, some people are just so jealous of my success. 
They think their bad luck will stop them. Too bad they don't know that I am unstoppable. Oh yes. I am unstoppable. No one can stop me. Because I have it all. I mean, I get full package. I be full option. Front and back. Everything complete. In the house. Jealousy. Jealousy. They think they can stop me. <laughs> They're only wasting their time. Very happy today. Of course, I'm happy. What's the secret? You know, your presence lightens up my world. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Baby, I know I make you happy, mm -hmm. but there is more to this. Nothing. So I'm just happy, Trust. Hey, I am hey. just happy. Really? Yes. Okay. So tell me, how was work? Oh, work is there. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have good news. Bad news? Yes. Um, I think I want to hear the good news. So what's the good news? Well, the good news is this. I spoke to the manager and according to him, the MD is highly impressed with our level of progress in the company. Okay. And the bad news is... Mm -hmm. I spoke to the manager mm -hmm. about convincing the MD to reinstate you. But he sounded as though the MD is speaking personal thoughts against you. Really? Yeah, I was quite surprised because I know you don't know the MD in person mm -hmm. and he doesn't know you. Hmm, okay. Don't worry. I called the manager today. Really? And we spoke at length. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I mean, he was uh, very jovial on the phone. And he promised me that he will connect me to the MD so I can talk to him myself. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> wow. Women power. <laughs> Bottom power. <laughs> the man that was just very mean to me and was so official. Trust me, I am very sure he would link me up to the MD. And once that happens, <laughs> now me and you get the company. I will make sure the MD sacks Mr. Peter and make you the manager while i will be the hod operation wow master planner you baby you can say that again <laughs> i i love that i love that but hope the md is not going to come anywhere close because all these big men then they use ic fine girls especially especially well endowed one like you well don't worry no one's going to touch your property yes i don't want him coming close to my property <laughs> go, 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 go. Tell me, tell me, 
Are you not enjoying the peace and privacy we have now? Huh? Or don't you like what you see? I mean, don't you like how sexy I dress? Oh, honey, just look. You don't need to blame me. Look, I just, I just want to kiss you the way I want. I want to play with you around the house. I mean, I just want to be free. Me walk around naked. Do a lot of crazy and nutty things. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, baby, you know you can actually do these things. I mean, you can do them without them interfering. Mm. Well, I don't feel comfortable with them looking at us with those bad luck hovering around them. Oh, I don't feel comfortable. Well, I understand. But you have to give people around the opportunity to leave. Remember, I told you that Toby is instrumental to my job. You already know the story. He got me that job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you've been doing a lot for him. I mean, you've been housing him since, since he returned from abroad empty-handed. So what, what more do you want to do? Do you want to kill yourself for him? Listen, listen. Toby has been of great use to me. Mm. You remember when I got suspended from my job? It was his prayer that got me reinstated. And baby, if you can just swallow your pride and hatred for him, just talk to him to pray for you. Eh? Babe, I'm sure and I believe that you'll be reinstated. Eh, eh, eh. I don't understand. Me. Meet Toby for prayers. Of course. God forbid. God forbid. I'd rather go and sell pure water on the streets than do that. Ah. Babe, see, see, see. I'm really working on something. And trust me, soon, very soon, I'll get my job back. Bad girl. <laughs> Bad girl. You just wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hope you're not planning on doing something stupid. Because huh? I will kill somebody. Huh? I will personally castrate him. Huh? You know I can bear the thoughts of any man coming close to you. Let me know. I never said I was doing anything with the empty. Bet. Oh, look, I just I just need my job. What do you like the way I'm staying now? Baby, I provide anything you need. My baby doesn't have to work. I need to work. We need to work. So we can run the home together. Well, if you insist. Well, that aside. Come. There's just something I want to show you. I like this. Yes. And I can scream as I like. Without really? having to cover my mouth. I can scream! Oh really? So, you ready to go to the room? Yes! Yeah. Oh. And I will scream and shout because Toby well, take is there, stuck right? in the house to okay. come bother us. Toby. Toby. God, you're my friend, you know that. You are. Now, you told me you've seen a woman with a good character. Possibly that's what you desire. Why are you still acting poor? <laughs> Bro, trust me when it comes to finding that woman. I believe God has answered my prayer by bringing Tracy into my life. I am monitoring every activity and stuff in the company, including Mark and Mercy. And I believe my manager is on track. You see, that, that reminds me. This mercy of a girl has a bad character. He does. I never knew all this and all this while. And this was the same girl you were clamoring for, possibly to settle down with her. Oh my goodness. You know, I will go to church and thank God for making me escape that girl, Mercy. You <laughs> should, brother. You should. You should. You should. You should. Mercy. Do you know she called the manager, asking him to link her to the MD? Unknowing to her that the MD was sitting right in front of her. You serious about this? Yep. You see, sometimes we look for Messiah elsewhere. Forgetting to know that sometimes Messiah can be there with us. Oh, if she had known that you are the MD of this company, 
Holy Mary. She would have been bending, licking your feet, asking you for reinstating. Well, I am considering employing another personal manager so I can change her permanently. Toby, are you sure about this? I'm actually still thinking about it. Are you sure? Because I suppose and I believe, as a friend, I'm advising you though, still keep her, possibly use her to find out one or two things in the office. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? Not bad. Have you eaten? You see, you just gave me juice here. I'm still wondering whether I went the next one will come. <laughs> For person house, now you they ask this one when they for house. Now you won't push for me. You should sit on this side. I need to ask question. Keep quiet. Bracket. Wait until you come. If na food, I never cook. As you can see, I see the clean house. Now see, like clean the whole house. Finish. I come cook. I want you. Open. <sighs> Ready. Okay, thank you. Uh, you were saying, baby? Oh, yes, um, that is my friend's cook. She accords me with the same respect she gives my friend. Amen. Thank you. Baby, I have to go. I'll see you later. Take care. Because me, I don't want police for halal. I don't want anybody that will come Messi, here. Messi, stop I... for once. Stop. Must you always be like this? The guy just returned. He hasn't done you any wrong. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm just saying my own. 
I'll be inside. I want to see those people. Please try to be positive for once. This is crazy. I'm not happy. I hate being at home. Coupled with Tracy and Toby being in this house. And it's been long I've been suspended. Very soon it, it will seem as if I got sacked. And the manager is not even doing anything about it. The manager said they have hired someone for the office of head of operation. Really? Wow. And Tracy's in this house. That means Tracy wasn't hired as the head of operations. Ah, oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank God. So. I am yet to meet the person though. Mm. But according to the manager, the MD said the head of operation will be the one to determine if you'll be reinstated or not. Eh? Yes, because you see, it lies in that department. Oh. I just pray God puts a good person in that position. Let it be a good person. Because honey, I am tired of staying at home. I really miss my job. And these jobless people being in this house, I mean, they're, they're making me sick. I just pray they don't kill me before my time. Since you have refused to send them out of this house. Let us send them away. Let them go. So I can have my peace. I'm not seen at this my age. Babe, stop now. Babe, stop it. I'm not ready for this. Mm -hmm. I can see that you and your sister are out to destroy me, right? What are you doing here? I mean, why would you come to my man's house dressed like this? Oh, you want to come and snatch my mom, right? With your Ross girl mentality. Oh, if that is, you don't have to insult me, okay? Mm. I just came here to see my sister. And besides, the last time I checked, this house does not belong to you. So oh. please, just allow me. Oh! So you still have the nerves to challenge me. So you don't know who is in charge. You don't know who is the woman of this house, eh? <laughs> A man has not married you yet. Come on, please, just shut up. Stella! <laughs> Before I open my eyes, eh? I want you out of this house. Before I open my eyes, get out! Get, 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 get out! Get out! Rubbish. Can you imagine? So you want to come to this to, to my man's house? Come and snatch my man! Ah, you've not seen anything. Shabu. You See, Tracy, I'm so ashamed of you. What kind of nonsense is this? Today will be the first and the last I will come to that God-forsaken house. What kind of nonsense? I'm so ashamed of you. You're squatting with a guy that cannot even afford to face me and face you. What nonsense is this? Don't tell me to come.
calm down, please. You needed to have seen how Mercy threw me out of the house. She embarrassed me. This is the second time. Tracy, this is the second time she embarrassed me. Almost threw. Oh my God. Whoever did this thing to you, I hope that person is alive because I will squeeze that person's neck. Oh, please don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, please. There's something wrong. Something is not just right. I'm going to call your mom. Oh. I'm going to tell auntie that there is something wrong with you. Maybe she should slap that nonsense, that devil, that demon where they disturb you up and down. How are you going to pack up your room and go and stay in somebody's house? Eh? And that mess you just insulting me. For what? I beg for a big chick like me. I don't get that for that nonsense. So. Ha. I beg. This is your car. No, no, no. On your ace. Let's get that from here. Let's go. Please, just, 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 just drive. Mercy. Mercy, why this sudden change of attitude towards me? Why you diss me? My cousin came to the house. You didn't even bother to ask her why she came and you had the guts to push her out of the house. Madam, go and tell your boyfriend to rent a house. Even if it's a one bedroom apartment, then if you like, you can invite the whole village to come and visit you there. But not in my man's house. Your man's house? Yes. Messi, this house you brag about belongs to your man and not you? Mark is not even married to you yet. Why so much ownership about this house? Well, Mark is my man. He is my man. Whether he marries me or not, he is still my man. Please, I am better than you. <laughs> yes, you are dating my leftover. Your leftover? But Messi, if that's what you call it, then no problem. But listen, we are here for different men. I am not here for your man. So why are you picking on me? My man is no longer interested in you, Mercy. And I'm sure you're no longer interested in him too, right? Well, that's a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Toby has always been interested in me. I mean, he was dying for me, but I rejected him. And he became my leftover. And you collected my leftover and started dating my leftover. So please, carry the leftover somewhere else. Because you guys are not welcomed here. Missy, I've always known you to be rude and arrogant and not challenged. But I will not change because of you, Mercy. I will not stoop so low to your level of degradation. I will not. Oh, <laughs> Saint Tracy. Oh, so you have suddenly become a saint. You can't exchange words with me anymore. Fine. But you can stay in a man's house. Sleep in a man's house. A man that has not even done anything on your head. Even ordinary schnapps, he has not even paid on your head. And you're here for an incest. <laughs> Just like you two, right? Well, I am not claiming to be a saint. I'm not. Look at you. So now you can't exchange words with me. But you can stay here, sleep with a man. A man that has not done anything on your head. Eh? A poor man at that. Ha! Tracy. I'm disappointed. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. You see that one I did to Stella, eh? That one is small. The one I will do to you, eh? You won't see it coming. Don't worry, I've not even started with you. Look at you. Dating a useless, wretched Uber driver. Ah! Just you hold my hand, Sha. Wait, please. I want to go see my mother. Are you saying this because of my sins? No. Who is Mercy? My mom called. She said she has something important to discuss with me, so I have to go. Okay. I'll take you to home. Oh. I mean, if you don't have to worry, I'll go myself. You have work to do. I need to run around to get you some money for your transportation. 
Oh, no, babe. Um, my mom already sent me money for transportation, so I'm good. <sighs> Tracy. I want you to know that I love you so much. I love you too. But honestly, this embarrassment is getting too much. If you love me, then stay. Stay and let's fight this together. My God will make a way. I believe. I'm stuck with you forever, babe. Forever? Okay. Well, I will show you Pepe today. Mm. Which can drop it like it's hot. Which can Pepe? Which, which can Pepe? Ah! <laughs> You're finished. Oh yeah. Market. This guy. You don't have it. Touch market. I know what. This guy. <laughs> See this guy. Oh <laughs> yeah, play. That reminds me. This is your company. It's like they've forgotten about us. They don't need a driver anymore. Uh, why not? I've been talking to the manager about you. But you know the management is yet to decide. Although they have hired someone for the office of the head of operations. Mm. But we are yet to see the person. And the management has kept it away from everyone. It's okay. You've done your best. Let God do the rest. Yes. So as God is doing the rest, last card, check up. <laughs> Guy, you're hiding game. Where? Where? This is impossible. I'm the king. me like this? Accept it. Bow to your king. Another game. I refuse to give up. Hey, God. You are so going to lose. Okay, okay guys. You are losing. Are you guys not done with your game yet? No. Who's ready? Last game. Who's last game? <laughs> Tracy. One more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, so I'll just go dish out your food then. Round up fast. Ah. You guys <laughs> are really okay. spoiling me with food. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you guys are really spoiling me with food since Messi left. Come on, Mike. You deserve it. Because you do. So, Thank come you. in. Let me get your food there. I'll let her boss is all. Stella! Stella! What is the meaning of this? Stella! Yes, sir. Come here! What is this? Stella! Stella! I won't have you litter this house the way you like. What is the meaning of this? And I will not hesitate to send you out of this house so you return to the village where you belong. I hear you. Sorry, oh. No vex, madam, house owner. I was actually trying to clean up the house and wash all these clothes before you came in. So, Stella, you had better comport yourself in this house. You hear me? You had better comport yourself. It will no longer be like when you just came and I gave you and your sister space. Now you don't know the agreement I had with your sister. So don't, don't overstep your boundaries. Now take this things off. Hey! Hey, really at this one! <laughs> they don't chop them, dump them. One carry all the problem put for my head. I beg go. Just pack your. Your, your wahala, go your boyfriend house. Nonsense. In fact, don't even go. You need to stay here. Because Trace needs to enjoy her bobo. Hey, hey. Nonsense. Hey, Stella. Stella.
Hello, manager. Good morning, sir. Manager. Manager, you know they try for me, oh. So you can hurriedly forget about me like this. Eh? Me, Mercy. Me that I used to plan your coffee, set your table. Me that I always take very good care of you. Now you can quickly miss all of this. Manager, it's not good though. See, because I'm not your girlfriend. It's interpreted how? Manager. Look, you can come after work. I'm alone in the house. Look, I am, I am tired of staying at home. I'm tired. Look, if there is anything I can do at all, anything I can do so I can get back my job, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready. Did you say she? You mean the head of operation is a woman? What's her name? Monija. Monija would have been safe in your hands, so you know women now. Uh, women hate each other. I can see you've chosen Tracy and Toby over me. Toby, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look, I would never choose anybody over you. I've just been busy with work, but I'm here now. Oh, come on, spare me all that, Mark. You came here to see who? Who? Listen, you better get out of my house this minute. Go back to Tracy and Toby. Baby, what are you talking about? I have really given it a deep thought. Mm -hmm. But it's not possible. Really? Oh, really? Baby, Toby's a great guy. I told you how he was instrumental to me getting a job. It would be so unfair and heartless for me to turn my back on him now he came back from abroad empty handed. I told you that guy brought me from the village and gave me a job through his friend. I can't let him go back to the village and start from square one. That's so unfair, baby. But you have done enough for this guy. Do you want to kill yourself for him? I mean, you've done enough. You know the circumstances surrounding this relationship, right? Toby came for me first. But I rejected him and I chose you. And yet you still keep me under the same roof with this guy. I mean, he sees me every day like I'm his enemy. Is that what you want? No, no, baby. You misunderstand me. Look, Toby is not like that. I've told you before. Listen, he should even be here. 
everyone ashamed that after being jilted by a woman, you are under the same roof. My house is a mess. What? You just need to try and accommodate me. It's because of you. It's because of you. Of course, I know you can do anything for me. Just what makes you think I would ever choose you? You are all the woman I want. No, I got drink in the drink. Eh hey, hey. eh. I got come out. I drink and you drink. You can't serve yourself with your juice, the drink. Sit down as a madam in charge. Why bring it down outside the gate? Son, they beat me. If they hear the drink, I got juice. I don't catch you. Now, now where I call you? I don't catch you. Hey, bracket. Me and you don't the rub shoulder for this house, Abi. You be okay. You don't know your level again. You why don't call since they make you come, make I give you message, just relax for them. Come come at your own time. You don't get respect again for this house. See, Oga call me. He say make you tidy the whole house. Saying they come back with important visitor. Hold your ear. Important visitor. Say more clean the house. Me you need. You understand? So why are they tell you be say you go come, make we arrange everywhere. You break it. I gotta come back. You go clean house. Me and you go clean house. Me and you, me break it. You come follow the clean house. As waiting. Now my work for this house to open gate and close. If I hear that one, I will go open gate, close and chicken. Let me move. He say they come make I come carry food eat. Come the come the here. Let me say. God say they come back. I go follow the clean house. As waiting. No, I like it. Okay. Mm. 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 Baby, honestly, I really cannot wait for God to bless us and give us our own apartment. See how peaceful this house has been since Mercy left. Yes, you're right. Trust me, God is going to bless us more than we prayed for. Just wait and see. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I keep okay. going to the market. What's going on? Because you do not have the game, so now watch out. Okay. This. Ooh, wait, 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 no, 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 this, this is cheating. <laughs> I won again. This is cheating. How can you have all of this it's at once? It's not cheating. So, you're not going to work today. Ooh, that's the promise. <laughs> I want to know work. This is just so unbelievable. Come, let's go in. Should we go inside? Yeah, let's go inside. <sighs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Can bring them along. We're not gonna play this game again because you're cheating. I mean, I'm not cheating. You, you, you're not going anywhere. That's why I won. <laughs> I 
just want to tell you Hello, Tracy. Tracy, come on now. Uh -uh. You know my blood. Uh -uh. That one, I was just angry now. Forget that side. I know me now. <laughs> house and I didn't see Mercy as a good friend now. You know she's my love. Uh -huh. I want to know whether she don't go back to her boyfriend's house. You know that girl now. Now what? That girl. I beg go. Make she just did that play. Make she no come back. Make she no come. I don't, I don't even need her at all at all. That girl is a, is a, is a venom in my flesh. Let her just go. I will. Love you. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> wow. Hi. <laughs> I'm alone. from the cooker. Hmm? Mercy. It's noodles that I'm making. In five minutes, the noodles will be ready. Don't worry. In five minutes, I will take it down so it can cook for you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do I look like I care? Do I? Or did your stupid boyfriend, did he ever tell you that he has refilled the cylinder before? Hmm? Mercy. It hasn't gotten to this now. Hmm. Why are you trying so hard to provoke me? Easy. You're <laughs> trying so hard to get me angry. Tracy, it's your fault. You caused all of it. Since we've known each other, have we ever quarreled? No. Because we have always respected ourselves and our friendship. Since you decided to come into my man's house, to drag space with me against my wish, then get ready to face my wrath. Now, go to the kitchen and get that stupid noodles you're cooking down from the cooker. Mess you're like my sister. I don't want to have issues with you, please. Oh, you're still talking. Tracy, you're still talking. Come on, my friend, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Messi, I, I didn't want to. Hey, get up! Get up! Get up! Messi, stop! You're hurting me! Stop! Okay. Messi, stop! Messi, I don't want to. What do you Stop! Messi! Stop! Stop it right now! Stop what? Messi, stop! What are you doing? Oh! What are you okay. doing? Okay! Okay! So it's you? like this now, eh? It's like this! No, you should have told me that you like her! You should have told me that you like her! You should have just told me! Okay, you want to sit down, eh? Is that what you want to do? So you don't like her? Are you not 
side. Go to job with you. So you're not siding with her. Listen to me. Let this be the very last time you ever embarrass any of my guests. Yeah. Okay, Mark, you want to beat me? Okay, you want to beat me? Oh yeah, beat me now! No, no, beat me! Beat me! Yes, what to is beat wrong with you? Beat me! Yes, what beat is wrong me. with you? What is wrong with you? You're going crazy! Okay, you want to beat me? Don't you ever embarrass me? Mark, beat me! Oh, beat me! Beat what me! Mark, beat me! Go, no, come on, beat me! Beat me now! Get out! Come on! Stupid man! Nonsense! Don't worry, I will show you. What? Come on, 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 come Just sleepy? Yeah. Babe, are you sure everything is okay? Yes, I am so hungry. I want you to make um, oha soup with goat meat and uh, pounded yam. Okay. Bro, what do you care for? The same as yours. I wouldn't mind. Um, okay, what protein would you like, sir? Whatever you have, just put, just put it. <laughs> um, sir, would you want something to drink before the food will get ready? No, later. Um. Thank you. This your girl is really hard working. Oh yes she is. Mm -hmm. That's why she's my girl. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. And th that reminds me. Toby, now you've made your your girl the head of operation in your company. When is she has in office? Well, I will ask the general manager to issue an appointment letter to her. Mm. Mm, that's a good one though. But but you must know that uh, if she resumes the office as the head of operation. In no distant time, she'll be seeing money. Mm. So don't you think that she might come up one day and tell you to leave uh, Max house? That's the problem. But, you know, I think I have it figured out. I want her to have a few bucks, you know, just to know how humble she will be, knowing that I don't have. And also to know if she'll still stay with me in Max house. I will monitor her for a while. And if she passes, I'll ask her to marry me. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't be my man. Anyway, it's a good one, though, you know. It's a good one. I'm really happy because um, you've really endured this to this level, you know. And I, I, I appreciate your patience. Thank yes. You. And um, I want to believe that it's going to work out. Yes. It sure will. Oh, but let me show you. Do you know she went as far as asking her mother a hundred K just so I could get even if it's one room apartment? Feel I. 
You serious? 100,000 from my mother. Tracy. Do you have any proof or ID card or something? Anytime, maybe she resumes. According to the manager, mm -hmm. 
she will bury you and then decide whether you retain your job or not. But I'm positive about that. I just pray she should be a good person. You know ladies, so you know how they do it. Well, I don't know. But I'm sure the company will employ someone that's for such position. <laughs> so why? Uh, where is um, Toby and Trace? I didn't see them when I got back. Is it body people? I don't know. It's as if Tracy followed Toby for his taxi business because he just dressed as if we were going for New Year festival and left the house. Really? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Let's it's go nice to bed now. Come to Papa. You know. Sarah, the staff that was on suspension and that she requested to see more. Today is supposed to be a happy day for you. You just got reinstated and you're here crying. So I have to cry. Why? When I found out that she's the new head of operation, I already made up my mind that I lost my job. Why should you conclude? We live in the same house. And I have been so cruel to her. It's not because of her, it's because I have issues with her boyfriend. So I transfer the hatred to her. I've been so cruel to her. I, I... I understand. You see, I told you that. Uh, for the MD to appoint her to occupy the post of head of operations without a debut, she must be an extraordinary person. You have to forgive yourself. You see, life is a teacher. The more you live, the more you learn. Learn how to treat people right, okay? Try and leave a good memory with the life of the people you meet 
in your journey of life. It's necessary. I've learned my lesson, sir. It's all right. Um, take this file to head of operations. Tell her to work on the document inside and get back to me. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything either. I'm happy for Tracy. You. Yes. Tracy and I have been friends for a couple of years. We've never had issues. We were best of friends. And that's why we decided to rent an apartment together. Tracy has a good heart. I only misjudged her because of the hatred I have for Toby. Mercy, please. I am begging. Try and find a way to accommodate these people. Look, Tracy is now our boss in the office. And she has the power to fire us both. Even me that have not committed anything. Let alone you that has committed lots of atrocities. So, I want you to treat her with respect. I know. Well, I already made up my mind to be good to Tracy. I mean, she was good to me in the past. So, I have decided to show her love. But do you think she will still want to stay here, considering her new status? And do you even think she would want to keep that her poor boyfriend? Come on, miss. Stop it for once, please. Not for the hatred. Well, I already told you that I'm cool with Tracy. But as for Toby, I don't even want to hear about him. I have told you before that Toby is a great guy. Mm -hmm, indeed. And, and then come to think of it, there's a kind of luck that follows that guy. I mean, look at it this way. You know the number of people that apply for that job they can see now? Why is it that only Tracy got the job? Toby transferred his love to Tracy. And please, one more thing. You have to stop doing those chores. I mean, you don't expect her to be doing chores while you are alone. She's our madam. I know, I know. Well, I've talked about it and I think you're right. Speaking of which, let me go and make dinner for everybody, oh. including our madam. So, let me go and make dinner. Progress. Progress, baby. Ah. All right. Tracy will be the head of operation. Oh my god. God puts me in one position. That's not me. I know, I know. But I can't be here while I, I watch you cook for me and do house jobs. Yeah, you know it's not right. 
Mm. Bless you. Relax. Besides, I'm not cooking for you. I'm actually cooking for us to celebrate my new appointment. Yes. So all I need you to do is mm -hmm. go to the living room, sit relaxed. Or when I'm done cooking, I'll dish it up for all of us to celebrate. I should just go and relax. Yes. No words. Go ahead. Go. I say so. If you need anything, just call me. Eh? Just call me and I'll anything at all. I don't know anything. Girl, what's up? Just go up there. <laughs> no, I like it. Take me. What? What is this for? Babe. Ever since you came into my life, Everything about me has changed. I have experienced true friendship, true love, and I got a befitting job through you too, babe. This is my allowance. They gave me 500,000 for a change of wardrobe. But I don't need to change my wardrobe. I also have extra 300,000 in my account. You can take all of them. Let's go rent a place. Move out of here like we've always wanted, babe. Tracy, you're truly my answer to prayer. What would I do without you? Hmm. I thank God for the wisdom he has gifted you. You are every man's dream. Let us stay. Yes, I mean, don't you think it will look somehow that because we're making some money, we want to move out of this place? Like your position suits you so well. Um, look, I, I still want to apologize to you for the way I disrespected and abused you. Mercy, come on. You have apologized enough. Look, from the depth of my heart, I have forgiven you, okay? <laughs> Thank you, and God bless you. I pray that you will continue to grow in this company. Amen. Amen, my friend. Thank you so very much. Um, Adam. Look, Mercy. Can you call me Tracy when we're alone? Come on, girl. Not me, you. But you are still my madam now. Well, if you say so, I mean, who am I? But on a more serious note, Tracy. Your kind of person is rare. You're the kind of friend that I won't trade for anything. You know we've been friends from way back. We even rented an apartment together. But look at us today. I mean, I thank God for your life and for making you come this far. Mercy, I equally thank God for your life too. Look, Mercy, I want you to know that my position in this company is for both of us, okay? I will also look for a way to ask for your promotion. <laughs> well, I know that. I know that very well. I know that. Um, there is something I would like to advise you on. Okay, go on. Please, I don't want you to get angry. And I do also don't want you to get me wrong. But if I happen to be in your position, 
I would do the same. Look, Tracy, you are now the head of operation in this company. After the general manager, you are next. So, how can you still be dating a taxi driver? How? Oh, Tracy, you can do better than this. You need to find a man, a man that is more befitting. I could even, you know, hook you up with a man that suits your present class. Trust me on that. Uh, Mercy, look. I have promised myself never to be angry with you again. But please, please never bring up this kind of conversation again. I do not need your advice, okay? Okay, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, you know, get you upset or get you mad. I'm sorry. I'll be in my office. You and this is the battle since morning. Papa, how is he up now? Matcha and Sumo make I see. Matcha. What did they see? Ah. Uh, oh, no. I submit this smoke, no be my mind. Off your engine. Your money is 5,000. Are you sure you don't do okay? Just go and enjoy. I'll meet you, madam. Huh? Meet you, madam. Okay, my madam. Who they call Tracy? Wait, now Tracy go, madam. They crazy, who they call Tracy? Hey! John, John, that's fine. Butchi! Bia, 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 come and see my former love. Tracy is in my shop. Tracy, chai! Oh, God! Tracy! Dave, what is it that you know excited to see me? Tracy, how? Hey, no, no, I'm, I'm excited. In fact, I'm happy. Tracy, if I'm not excited seeing you, may God punish me. Tracy, I'm happy seeing you. Tracy, I'm happy. The problem now is that I don't know if I should have to be now or not, Gucci. Eh? Eh, eh, I'm happy. I'm only, I'm only sorry for myself. I'm only sorry for being very, very stupid. Hi, Tracy. You're welcome to my shop. Look, Dave. There's so many mechanics around. But I chose to come to your workshop because I needed to see you too. You said your workmanship is how much? <laughs> 5,000. Okay, hold on. Cool. Give me a second. This is the devil. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Hey, this is fifty thousand attached with my car. Tracy, how? You can use it to fix yourself. Okay, call me if you need anything. I'll be here to assist you. And here's Butchi, right? Butchi, I got something for you too. Tracy, you will never see a stupid idiot like David in your life. Amen. 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 And God equally bless you with a good wife. Take care of yourself. I'll see you around anytime my car is faulty. Hey. Yeah. This one is
One minute. magician we were in the office together i know how were you able to put up this food i know look you know your work is more demanding than mine so when i closed from work i decided to you know put something together so when you come home you would see what to eat <laughs> oh that's so sweet thank you you're welcome <laughs> please i'll be in my room in case you need anything anything at all just let me know okay no problem <laughs> enjoy and you just um yeah. mercy. Yes. I hope you're not angry about the way I ended our conversation in the office. <gasps> angry? No. Hmm. Not angry. I Me, mean, why should I be angry? I'm fine. <laughs> sure. Yes, I am. Thank you so much then. You're welcome. <laughs> so enjoy your meal. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. I'll finish this. Oh, it <laughs> looks really nice. Oh, jeez. Mercy, your food looks nice. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Yes, um, Miss Mercy, I. I want you to pass a circular to every staff in this office. Tell them to come to the office tomorrow a little bit earlier than normal time and tell them to appear in their best. The MD of this firm will be visiting for the very first time tomorrow. Wow. Okay, so um, I'll do just that. So the MD is coming tomorrow? Yeah. It's oh, this is great. That's great. I can't wait to see him. See him when he comes to me. Alright, so. Dave! Dave! Where is Robert? Madam, Dave not did. Oh, okay, let me just call him. Hello, Dave. Where are you now? Dave, please, you have to help me. My car just broke down very close to your shop. And I'm actually rushing to somewhere very important. Ha. That means you don't have money to fix your car now. Because there's no car that will break down without giving you sign. Dave, please spare me. Please, you have to come help me. I'm going somewhere very important, please. <laughs> my dear, I don't be that kind of mechanic again. Levels don't change. In fact, I have my own car now. A better car that is far, far, far more better than that of Gura Gura Central Devil car. So nobody come to my shop with it. Here? Yeah? How come? You say how come? Okay, let me tell you how. That's my girlfriend who you know, that's my former love. Trace, she don't better my life now. In fact, she don't give me left. Way back with me, a private engineer with Chinese people. I work with Oyibo people now, Chinese people now, since I'm working with information. I am no longer in your class. So I prefer you go and look for a mechanic in your level because I know they want your kind of car again. I believe she will be my boyfriend who don't drop you by now. So as you see now, the people are no longer in it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Bye bye. Dave, can you imagine? He had the call on me. Please, please, can you help me fix? my car please oh madam dido me help you fix your car so that i will become your dido go and look for someone else to help you and fix your car not me i've been coming my past i've been very busy now not 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 spoil my work here
My stay in this country was to find, make sure my company is handed to the rightful owner. And my experience in this country has actually made me find that one person. Um, a few changes will be made with the posts in the company. Mr. Peter, sir, I want to retain you as the general manager of the company. Mr. Mark Uchenji, Sir. you are going to be the head of operations. Yes. 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 Yes.